Welcome back trainers. In this video we're going to be going over some of the Galarian Pokemon that we're going to be seeing entering soon. A few additions to the current Galarian Pokemon that we do already have here. So one that we're going to be specifically focusing on is going to be the Galarian Meowth that does evolve into Berserker, which I found to be very interesting. As far as the other ones, we're just going to be going over their types and I'll give you a few of my thoughts and what I think about them. Uh, but this one specifically, I do like because you know me, I am a Persian fan, so we're going to see how this does perform. But it's not just that, it does look really good as well. It's just moves that it could potentially have and where it's going to land in the specific leads for the Go Battle League. Uh, now, I did go out and do some raids. I got myself a shiny Dark Ride. And my gosh, guys, we were so close to getting a Shundo. Look at that. One point off. That would have been absolutely amazing. I still do not have a shiny 100% IV Legendary. I mean, come on. I know that's really rare, but yeah. So, close though. And unfortunately, it looks like Team Go Rocket is going to be gone. Or at least, you know, hunting down Giovanni until September, unfortunately. So, it is going to take me currently, and I'm sure everybody else who's at 5 over a year still to get that jacket absolutely insane they did put a long stretch on that but at the bottom it does say we really don't expect team go rocket to be quiet all summer dot 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 so potentially something with giovanni for us to get at least a couple boosts on our badge so we can get that jacket a little bit sooner than 2000 i don't know 22 potentially <laughs> so yeah there is that news so uh, that's a little unfortunate but anyways moving it on here for the month of May, you can look forward to Shinx in the breakthrough, all right, until June 1st. So why would they do Shinx other than it has a shiny? Well, I'll tell you exactly why. Because recently they made a change to Wild Charge, which is actually going to be doing more damage, take less energy to get off in PvP. But on the downside, it is going to lower your defense by two stages. So basically think of a close combat, but with an electric type move, and that is going to be wild charge. So maybe they're trying to promote awareness of the new wild charge move and at the same time, potentially have people get a shiny as well. So that is why I think they're going to be putting that out. Nonetheless, that's what you're going to get. And uh, moving it on for the spotlight hours, we have Tuesday, May 5th for Shelter. Uh, Tuesday, May 12th for Sunkern, Tuesday, May 19th for Puchiana, and Tuesday, May 26th for Bronzor. Now, the one that you may want to focus on the most is probably going to be the Shelter as well as Bronzor because those ones are going to be uh, pretty good for PvP in both the Great League and in the Ultra. Not so much Bronzor in the Ultra, more uh, of the, the Great League. Uh, but in an open Great League meta, huh, not so much. But nonetheless, there you go. I did enjoy the Spotlight Pidgey Hour. I didn't find any Shinies, but I sure did catch a bunch. So that was nice. Anyways, moving on here. So let's go ahead and see what they have to say. From Wednesday, June 3rd at 1 p.m. until Monday, June 8th, 1 p.m., local time trainers can look forward to the following features. So we're going to be able to get the Galarian Stun Fist through the Champion Challenge. Uh, also through field research tasks if you're not able to do that. But something that I want to hone in on here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, the following Pokemon will also be making their Pokemon Go debut. Hatching from 7 kilometer eggs along their usual forms. So it's not just going to be the Galarians. You have Galarian Meowth, Zigzagoon, Germanitan. Or I keep saying that. Darumaka. And then Galarian Stunfist. Uh, so and then they go on to say you're going to actually be able to evolve them. So very interesting. Let's go ahead and take a look at those right here anyways. So we have Galarian Zigzagoon, uh, which is going to be evolving into Lyloon and then into Obstagoon. So they are going to be a dark and normal type. First glance, extremely weak to fighting, much like the Alolan Raticate. So is it going to be good? I'm sure it can find some usability in the PvP scene as far as raiding. Not so much, I don't think. Uh, but should be interesting nonetheless. You're going to have candies for these right away when they do enter. So you can't evolve them because of the uh, previous one that uh, we do have candies for. And then we look at the Stunfisk here. Ground and Steel type. Yeah, we'll see. That is the stuff of nightmares. It looks like a bear trap. It looks like it's going to bite your face. And uh, simple as that. So it is going to be losing that electric typing and picking up that steel. Making it a steel and ground. Very interesting. Then we have the Darumaka, which is going to be an ice type evolving into the ice form of Germanitan as well, which is going to be very interesting. There's something uh, actually very unique about this Pokemon, and it does have a Zen mode, and the regular uh, Germanitan does have a Zen mode. It just hasn't been put into the game, and for the Galarian form, it is going to be an Ice and Fire type, and there's going to be something crazy about this. It's going to have massive attack, so when this does enter in, it's not going to be right away. 
uh, look out for that. Something you definitely want to have on your list for sure, because it is going to be very, very strong. Fire and ice type, extremely weak to rock but also a very unique typing within itself. But you can have the best Pokemon with the best stats, and if it gets a horrible moveset, well, it's gonna be useless, right? So we'll just see. Now moving on to the one that I kinda wanna focus on here, we're gonna kinda speculate a little bit. It's gonna be a Steel type. This is gonna be the Galarian Meowth, evolving into Perserker. So it doesn't really look like a Persian, it's kinda maintaining that Meowth look, and it is going to be a pure Steel type, folks. So the CP is not going to be going over 2,500, making it usable for the Ultra League and the Great League. Take a look here. We have an attack of 195, defense of 162, and stamina 172 with a max CP of 2,386 and a pure steel type. So at first glance, you can see you're going to want a 100% IV for the Ultra League and getting it to best buddy could have some benefits for it. I don't know breaking points because it's a little too early for these Pokemon here. I just put it together some of the uh, stats so we can come up with these numbers here. And then for the Great League, it is also going to have some great usability as well. I would assume pure steel type. I mean, this is gonna be very interesting. And when we get to the moves, folks, you're gonna see exactly how much potential this could have. But yet again, it's gonna boil down to what Niantic actually wants to give it. I kind of was contemplating on making this video. I don't want to sound arrogant, but I don't want them to see this video and say, all right, well, let's not give it this movie because it's going to be too good. All right, so, so it is going to be weak to fire, ground, and fighting. It is going to be resisting normal grass, ice, flying, poison, bug, rock, dragon, steel, and fairy. There is no immunity in Pokemon Go, so it is also going to be resisting poison as well. With that just pure steel type, it's looking pretty good. It does have those weaknesses to fire, fighting, and ground, but nonetheless, I still think this is going to be crazy good because of the moves. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So, for the quick moves that it could potentially learn in Pokemon Go, we have Metal Claw, Shadow Claw, Iron Tail, and Scratch. Right off the bat, I think the best one is going to be Shadow Claw followed up by Metal Claw. You're going to get stabbed from Metal Claw. Shadow Claw is just really good. Now for the charge moves, and here we go, folks. We have Close Combat, Giga Impact, Hyper Beam, Play Rough, Foul Play, Iron Head, Gunk Shot, Seed Bomb, Dark Pulse, Gyro Ball, Shadow Ball, Night Slash, Dig, Body Slam, Thunderbolt, Thunder, Crunch. All right, so, and Shadow Ball, did I say that? So this thing is going to be absolutely a beast if it ends up getting a good move set. So what would I like to see for the quick moves? Obviously, Shadow Claw and Metal Claw. For the charge moves, this is going to get a little tricky because it has such a great uh, move pool that it could potentially learn for PvP. Body Slam is really spammy. Close Combat is going to give it nice coverage. And then going for Thunderbolt is going to give it good coverage up against uh, flying types like Skarmory and or water types like Azumarill. And what else? Let's see. We have Seed Bomb for the Mud Boys even. I mean, the only move that I can see not being useful on this list is potentially Hyper Beam because that move is just dumb, right? <laughs> and uh, I mean, I, I don't want to, it's not that great, but you have Play Rough, I mean, which is going to be on the lower tiers and then Dark Pulse. I think Foul Play is going to be a little better. Uh, Gyro Ball could be good because you're getting stabbed, but I don't, I think Iron Head is what you're going to want there. Uh, Night Slash, you'll be able to get a boost. Body Slam is spammy. Dig, super effective too the uh, Steel types as well as Reggie's. Uh, I mean, Shadow Ball even for the Ultra League guys because of the Giratinas. So uh, this thing's looking pretty nice. I mean, you even have Gunk Shot if you wanted to go for a nuke on the Azumarill. Although Thunderbolt, I think might be a little bit better, but I don't know, we'll see. But nonetheless, uh, there are the moves. Close Combat uh, is something that I would like to see on it as well as Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, uh, let's see, Seed Bomb would be fantastic. Not trying to get greedy, then just naming off the ones Iron Head as well. Uh, so, looking good, guys. Are you excited? Now, that is the reason why I wanted to cover it, and I just wanted to give you a little heads up on uh, my Persian enthusiasm here, even though it's not evolving into a Persian this time, which is kind of weird, but still a Meowth, which I still enjoy. I love that first evolution. It looks like a, a mountain beard cat thing, right? And in closing here, trainers, I just want to go over a tweet and to put out. They are going to be delaying the start of Season 2 for Go Battle League due to some issues. So it looks like all of those test teams that I was using just trying out, ruining my score. I have a chance of redemption here. So let's go, trainers. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.